Well, first of all, I'm using real chocolate, not powder or technically what's called compound chocolate. It's real chocolate and with a whole range of percentages. So from a 28% white chocolate, which is very sweet, all the way up to 100%, which is absolutely sugar free and very intense and everything in between with lots of vegan options as well. The percentage stands for the amount of cacao versus sugar. The higher the percentage, the less sugar is within the chocolate, the more bitter or the less sweet it is. The white chocolates with the low percentage have a little bit more sugar and are very sweet. And the darker chocolates with a higher cocoa percentage a little bit less sweet and bordering on being bitter. So at the moment we have about 22 different chocolates. Um, we are supplying six or seven different milks. And then we have, I think I lost count, but I think we are 22 different ingredients which can be added to the chocolate, like sea salt and chili, as well as rosemary, as, and our handmade marshmallows, very proud of those. So for us the mission is the people should make the hot chocolates at home as well. Um, they're coming into the shop and they want to recreate that experience they have. Um, and also a lot of people are bored with a coffee offering. Um, it's a wonderful energy boost, caffeine boost in the morning. I have a hot chocolate instead of a coffee. So we're providing 10 different chocolates for you. Um, which you can make into hot chocolates at home, starting with the white chocolate, as well as going all the way up to 100%, including a vegan milk chocolate. And that's for you to recreate either on a stove or in one of our chocolate makers. I like that there's so much choice. It's nice because you can go for like something really milky or really bitter, anywhere in between. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, and single origin just makes it a bit more interesting too. Compared to regular hot chocolates, uh, we use real chocolate. It's um, rather than cocoa and sugar, it has more cocoa than sugar, which sounds obvious, but a lot of, um, a lot of the kind of regular hot chocolates have a lot of sugar in them. Um, and if you use higher quality chocolate, then you don't need so much sugar, because often sugar is used to cover up bitter beans. Um, and it's really nice with the single origins, being able to taste the different flavor notes and all the different origins, um, much similar to wine where you've got wine tasting, you can taste all the different regions and it's the same with chocolate. Our chocolate is traceable we like to make sure we know where it's come from um, not just the country because it's easy to know a country but it can still be bulk sourced from that country and you don't really know all the details um, so traceable like we're in contact with the producers and we want to know details on the farm we have a lot of questions to ask them 
Um, we've even been out to visit. And then it's our flavours, which are unique. Um, so being an artisan hot chocolatier, as I like to call myself, um, I felt that a lot of chocolatiers specialise in truffles and bars that all have nice flavours in them, and why not do that with hot chocolate? So that's us. When we first started out, people weren't really used to specialty hot chocolate. They came and looked at it and they said, oh, well, it's a proper hot chocolate. And um, it's a phrase that we started borrowing from customers. It was a thing that they weren't used to at all. And it's still not a massive thing. Um, we're still working on that. But um, I think people are gradually becoming more used to the idea. There's like more other brands. Like when we started out, we were probably one of two brands doing this. And now there's, there's more people jumping in on it. So um, in some ways, that's quite nice. It's like people are joining in and that means it's a thing. It must be a good idea. I think there's two reasons for the surge in this premium hot chocolate. The first is gourmet. The British consumers now are kind of used to sort of better. They're looking for better. They've developed taste, whether it's wine, coffee, even fruit and vegetables. Everything has been premiumized. But there's the second element, and that's wellness. More people are looking for a more natural product that has less sugar and, and that is basically better for your body. So overall, the experience and the taste of premium is a better consumer experience.